Hi guys, welcome to Java Express channel. Today we are going to discuss how to install JDK in the Windows operating system. Uh, we are going to discuss in today's session. Before going to install the JDK, I mean to say Java software. Suppose if you want to run any Java programming in your system in Windows, I'm going to show you as a uh, installation steps from the scratch today, guys. Just to have a look what I can do before going to install okay your java software in your system first you need to open your command prompt with the help of windows r else even if you want to open here just in the here you can type as a cmd here it will open the command prompt for you here just you can part, uh, pass as a java hyphen version then it will give as a see here java is a not recognized as a internal or external command once you get this exception means the Java software is not installed in your operating system. Now we need to download the software. Okay, where you can download means the official website. We need to go there. Let me open here. You can type as a JDK 11 download here. Now you can use for a 64 bit. Now this is the official website guys, where you can able to see your all Java softwares. Just click it here. Now, once you here, just you can able to uh, go down here you can able to see which platform you want to install here maybe based on the linux operating system or the mac or the solaris right now we are using as a windows installer where just you can click here okay once you click here it will be ask you a username and password guys just click it here if you have already registered in the oracle website if you don't have click on the create account it will not ask much information just you can create the account with your email id and right now i already registered here so what i'm doing just i'm able to log into here just i'm giving my username and password guys here now let me provide it to here once you click on the sign in option, it will download the Java software in your system. Now it is taking a time. Now see here, now JDK 11, I'm downloading in my operating system here. Suppose if you don't have an account, just click on create account. Once you create the account here, you can able to provide some, it's kind of a registration form. You can provide your email address, password, everything, first name and last name. You can provide, if you don't know anything, just you can provide as a NA job title. You can provide as a software engineer, your phone number, company name. If you don't have anything, just you can provide as a not applicable as a NA. And once you're done, you need to verify with your email, official email ID, where you can able to receive the notification here in your just you can verify with your email address once this step is completed okay then you can able to log into here okay yeah by that time my software is installed uh software is downloaded here now let me click on the show in folder here i already downloaded my java software previously just what i can do right click on the software click on the open here now here i already downloaded my software second time if you are able to download here what is happening it is making as a one it is downloading as a copy for you nothing else guys if you want even i can remove this part no issues here okay now let me go to the next here and just to click on here just i'm installing the software here okay now here, uh, just it is installing, just wait for one second here, it is going to install now. Now, here, see guys, now your Java software is successfully installed here. Now, what I'm doing, just once this installation is uh, completed here, okay? Now, you just install here and click on the close option here. Once the software is installed, now, just you just go and check here, just go and check here, Java hyphen version. Still, if you're able to see here, see Java is a not recognized as a internal or external command. Now you install the software. Now where you can able to see, click on the PC, go to the C drive and just you can able to see program files. Here you are able to see there is no software is installed here. Now go back and click on program files. You are able to see there is a Java software is installed. Open the folder. See here the JDK is installed for you. Now, if you want to run, you need to set the Java path inside your Windows operating system. Now you need to provide the path here. Now what I can do, click on the bin folder and this is the path you need to provide. Now right click, copy and inside the, this PC, 
click on the right click click on the property file here uh, here what i can do just you can type as a environment variables here edit system environment variables here you have an option of environment variables click on here here if you are able to see here we have a kind of a, a path you need to provide now the best practice people used to follow has here you need to create as a java home here it should be in the capital case letters java underscore home now here you need to copy paste your url up to just you can keep it as a jdk here only this is the path once you done okay now this java home you need to configure in the path variable here you need to choose it here this is the real time where you can able to set the java path here here what i can do by using symbol here ampersand symbol java underscore home here just i'm using slash where you want to choose you want to choose as a bin uh, bin folder then all your java commands where java c command compiler everything is available inside the bin folder once this step is done click on ok and ok and click ok already opened a terminal just to close this terminal to activate your environment variables you need to open as a fresh command prompt now let me open the command line here now inside here you can type as a java hyphen version here now see here now you can able to see java system is installed in your operating system this is the way you can install any other operating system i mean to say uh, any java version you can install like a java 12 15 16 whatever we have you can install the same structure today this is all about guys then we will come with some more videos in the coming uh, sessions guys thank you